Hi everyone, this is Oğuzhan. Welcome back to another UIP tutorial with me. So today's video I will be showing you how to add existing data row to another data table in UIP. We will be implementing this operation in two ways. First we will use classic add data row activity and secondly we will be using invoke method. For this tutorial I have prepared this excel file which contains employee list. We will read this excel file to another data table and we will try to add new data of this excel file by using these two methods. So let's start with first one. First of all we need to read this excel sheet and after that we will try to add new data row by using a data row activity. So let's type read range. I will use workbook activity here. Let's call it a data row seconds and let's try to identify my workbook which is on desktop. Okay. And the sheet name is list. So let's type list. Range will be empty so that I will be able to read all of the data from Excel file. And let's define output data table with dt employee list. Okay. After that, we will try to add data of this new data table. So I will call add data row. So basically it asks me to add array row or data row to existing data table. So first let's type our data table here and let's add new array row. So array row means that you need to define your data row as array which is basically you need to create array with corresponding data columns with your data table which means that we need to add name, email, address, country and postal code to be able to add new data of this data table. So let's type it here name sample at sample.com then country and postal codes and one two three four five okay so I have basically added the data row to data table but this is not an existing one I just created new array row uh, to be able to add this data table so let's see if it is adding or not I will add log message here and just I will type dt employee list row counts to string add breakpoint and debug file it stops here let's check our data table dt employee list and it, we have read it from the file and at the last data row as you can see here it's same with the array row name sample sample.com address turkey and one two three four five okay we have successfully added new data row to existing data table but uh, we have to add existing data row to existing data table so let's try that one for this purpose I will create new data table so let's call it dt new employee list and this employee list will contain some of the data rows from the original data table and we will add some condition if the condition is true we will add those data rows to this new employee list data table. Let's continue with that one data table. If employee name starts with, let's say, 
m we will add this one to another data table so let's get back to here so current row name starts with two strings sorry starts with m then a data row which is current row to dt new employee list so it looks perfect right now but it is not quite right we need to define this data table we haven't defined this data table columns so basically we need to define that also for this i will use clone method which is like this one dt new employee list dt employee list clone clone method basically copies data columns and their types to new data table but not the data itself so we can say that we just copying the pattern of the data table to new data table after this clone operation we will check if the name starts with m we will try to add this current row to new data table now let's try it it is still quite not right we will get an error i am trying to show you every step of this adding data row okay it says that this is a common mistake by the way it says that this row already belongs to another data table which means we are trying to get this row from this data table and trying to add it to another data table we are trying to add the reference to another data table so it won't work in this way what should we do we should add its item array to data table instead of a row itself so let's change it current row item array so that's the correct one now let's try to run it in debug mode dt employee list here and dt nif employee list here okay as you can see here malachi melissa mia maria martina mark macy mallory and marnie all of them starts with m and it successfully added their data to new data table okay this is the first method but we can use also invoke method here let's try that one so i will command this one and i will add invoke method invoke methods and method name will be import row target object will be our new data table which is dt new employee list and we will add our data row as an parameter here let's say data row here and current row as you can see here we are not adding item array but we are adding data row itself so it's the main difference between these two methods here we are using current row here so let's click ok and run it debug file okay let's check our new data table as you can see here again malachi melissa mia mariam etc etc so it is successfully added to new data table here either invoke methods or um, add data row you can use both of them to be able to add new data row to existing data table so basically we have read our excel file as an employee list and we have added new data row to this employee list uh, after that we have added existing data row to another data table by using two methods 
first one is add data row and second one is invoke methods hopefully this video will be helpful for you thank you for watching see you in another uipad tutorial video bye bye